As we have already shown, the starter commissioning software, for which a license is included in every bundle, makes it very easy to set up the G120P variable speed drive and to perform serial installations. In the field, the performance of your PID loop may sometimes be negatively affected by external factors, or you may have trouble with unexpected over-voltage faults because the setup of your drive is not optimized for your application. In order to monitor your drive, the starter software offers a trace function which allows you to track your drive's performance so you can tweak it. Originally introduced in high-end Synamics S drives, high-performance drives used in the machine tool industry, this amazing feature is now available for the first time in the HVAC market. Make sure that your drive is connected to the computer via USB and that the drive is online. In the project tree, navigate to your drive and the control unit, and under commissioning, find the function called device trace. Double click to open it. A configuration window opens in the workbench area on the right side. In this window, you can now select which values you want to keep track of when running the trace. Imagine you experience DC voltage errors in your installation. Choose the following parameters for tracing. R72, output voltage of the drive. R70, actual DC link voltage. R66, output frequency. Many DC link voltage errors are caused by the drive being accelerated or decelerated too fast. We can use those parameters to track the drive's behavior. Using the factor option, you can change the cycle time between measurements. In our example, we choose a value of 10 to obtain a measurement every 5 milliseconds. Now choose how long you want the trace function to run. Under Trigger, you can select when the recording should start. For this demonstration, we choose Immediate Recording. In the field, when you experience substandard behavior, it might be better to start the recording when a fault occurs or in relation to a specific parameter value. This ensures that you capture your drive's performance exactly at the critical point of time. Now press the play symbol in the top bar in order to start running the trace function. The trace can take some time depending on the total trace length desired. After the trace has completed, the screen will update automatically and you will see the measurement results as a graphic trend. Based on these values, you can now optimize your G120P. Then run another trace to confirm that the changes were effective. It's this easy to monitor and optimize your G120P variable speed drive using the starter software. Thank you.